In this video, we are going to learn about the items in Mopac. To add an item, first, you need to open a sequence in Premiere. Then click on a thumbnail of an item. It will be added to your scene. To customize it, open your Essential Graphics panel. You'll be able to change text position and size in here. Just click and write your own text. Or set a new color. You'll find additional options in the General Settings group. If you need to change animation's duration, just click at the edge of the layer and extend its duration as you need. That's all. Let's add another item. This time a background. It will take you a few seconds to customize it. You'll notice some items have an icon called AEP Format. That means you need After Effects to edit these items. Because they have placeholders for images or logos, and Adobe doesn't allow us to replace it in Premiere Pro yet. If you have After Effects, click on a thumbnail to add it. Right-click and select Edit Original. It will open the project file in After Effects. This is one of the responsive scenes. That means if you change composition width and height, it will adapt perfectly to any resolution. Let's set it the same with our sequence. You'll have a settings layer, which allows you to adjust colors and other options. You can double-click on the text to change it. You're going to see some placeholders. To replace it, first import your image to After Effects. Then make sure you're in the placeholder composition and drop your image here. Adjust the size and position. You'll see another composition, called Sample Image. If you download the sample image from the link, and drop it to the Sample Image comp, you'll have exactly same scene with the preview. You can download all these images that are used in the templates, from the link in the PDF guide. Now we are ready to jump back Premiere. First, save the project file, and open Premiere. You'll see it's updated.